Hello everybody and welcome to Me and My Golf. You've joined us here at the beautiful Fox Hills Golf Club. And we are golfing with the longest hitter on the European Tour, Ryan Fox. Let's take charge of your game. I don't know why we're walking to Ryan first. Yeah, yeah you just fair. wanted to be it's here. probably going to be just, mine first, actually I think. Both hoping I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find mine, to be honest. All right, so look, Ryan, normally when we do these, it's usually me and him, you know, sort of beating up on the tour player we normally win, don't I we? wouldn't say that. So I'm injured, unfortunately, so I can't play, but he's going to take you on, I'm pretty sure he's going to do you, so. Okay. Good piss, don't, don't yeah. say that. But obviously, he's, he's wimped out and left yeah, me yeah, against you, much, yeah. so. Now, we'll have a three-hole uh, three match, a couple of challenges along the way, sort of have a bit of a chat, get to know you, and uh, enjoy this weather in the UK. What's going pretty on? Pretty cool, isn't it? Right, uh, odd or even then, yeah? Odd or even, okay, so we'll see who goes first. Okay. I'm going even. You're going even, it is a, a five. Okay. So, I'll lead the way. It's a little dog leg left up here. The line's probably finishing just inside that fairway trap on the on the right that opens up the green a little bit. The green's kind of tucked behind the trees on the left. Okay. So, the right trees is a lot better than the left trees. <laughs> I like the way he's telling you which way you should miss. Okay, enjoy then. Play well. Good luck. It's quite good this start, actually. I feel very relaxed. Pierce, you, you can actually caddy me and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. coach me round. <laughs> Taking Badly my right trees said, yeah. theory. There we go. What's your preferred flight here? Or I, like normal? Hitting, I like hitting a cut, which is not probably the ideal <laughs> shape for this. This is why we picked this hole. Yeah. See, I told you. Yeah. But <laughs> the breeze is helping it. I mean, my line's kind of up the left side of the fairway and, okay. uh, and try to back. hold it there, basically. Oh, too much. Ooh, that's tight. Left, a bit too tight, is it? Uh, I'm going to have to chip one under the trees, but it's oh, all right. I'm just going to test Ooh. his ability at all. I'm going to have a lot less club in <laughs> Obviously, Ryan, you hit it miles. What do you attribute that to? For me, it was always just a mentality thing. I mean, I, I actually took up golf pretty late tournament-wise. I played cricket, rugby, tennis, um, pretty much anything with the balls oh, growing impressive. up. And I've always been lucky enough to have fairly decent sequencing. I sort of took that into golf, and when I first played golf as a kid, I just wanted to hit it far. I think I've met my golfing soulmate, someone who just wants to hit it far. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> saying I hit it. I'm not saying I hit it really straight, but, <laughs> but it gives you the option of an iron, doesn't it? Off yeah, the it does. Well. And, like I played a lot of my amateur golf that way. Driver was almost a, a last resort. I sort of straightened driver out a little bit, and it yeah. became you know, a, a weapon. A weapon. And, um, yeah, you look at the top players in the world now: the DJs, the Rorys. Um, you know, they take on a golf course and when they're driving it well, um, you know, they're, they're pretty pretty tough to beat. It's a nasty little green this too. Yeah? It slopes. He doesn't know that yet, does he? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Probably right. Yeah, that's real. Is there a bunker there? Yeah, there is a bunker okay. there. Yeah, it didn't bounce with it, so maybe a bunker. Luckily, there's a bunker there, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, lucky there's a bunker. Oh, uh, right. I didn't, see, I didn't see it land. I think it's gone a long way. No, yeah, it's not too bad. I'll take that. This is a great opportunity to ask, what would you do here? Because I think a lot of golfers in here now. Surely Ryan's just going to chip out to here oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Just, just get back in play, yeah? Or hit like a no. high flop. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> My shot is actually to pretty much try to land it in line with the base of the tree yeah. on mat and then use the use the contours of the ground to, like to bring it round. And what club have you got here then, Ryan? I've got eight iron. Eight it's kind of just trying to keep it under that tree in front. and. And that's the, the prime thing for you, isn't it, really? Keeping it underneath that. I think a lot yeah. of amateurs, you play in pro amateurs, would probably hit that tree, wouldn't they? Trying to chip it under Yeah, it. definitely. Like a pitching wedge or a 9-9. Nine nine yeah, go. I mean, I was I had pitching wedge out to start with, and it's almost a shot, but I think out of the long stuff, okay. it tends to pop up more okay. than, you know, if, if you're out of the fairway, you can kind of trap it and de-loft it a little okay. bit. But yeah. out of this stuff, it's quite hard to do that. It's going to pop up a bit. Yeah. Oh, that will work. Did what I thought it was going to do on the ground, but Did, I got it, yeah. a little bit more uh, of that grass stuck in between club and you'll see guys in the trees deliberating yeah. a lot <laughs> over yeah. what club to hit, what's yeah. going to get out, can I you know, get it up or yeah, yeah, yeah. under it, and you know you can see you you'll see how much time it takes to mm -hmm. make that decision. I think most amateurs just get in there and go, oh, "It's a pitching wedge out," where that pitching wedge brings in a whole lot of whole lot of trouble. I mean, if you're going to chip it out, make sure you at least get it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Get it back yeah. In play. You should have just had good shot, it just <laughs> missed the green. 
Well, you've actually left yourself in a pretty good place. Stops us inside six feet, I'll be impressed. Okay, it's pretty decent over them, just to be fair. I'll give him that. Put that off and we'll... Uh, oh, go, go, go. Almost. Nearly really good, mate. I see it being a personal preference. If you think you line it up better with the flag in, yeah. well, then there's going to be some benefit to you, so leave the flag in. Yeah. But I always see it better with the flag out. I got it, Ryan. Big slope, this one, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I did leave myself at least the easier putt. Yep, there we go. For that putt, you're trying to, you're just trying to get good speed. You want to give yourself as short as possible. That's good. Okay, mate. You're trying to give yourself as short as possible. Oh, yeah. Look at, take, it, take away. it away. Nice half to start. Nice half to start. That's it. He's a, he's a sim. You make me feel better right now. <laughs> <laughs> So you just heard you just get married then, Ryan? Yeah, got married in March, so it was a long time coming. It was congrats. We were together for ten years, I think, before we got married. So. Yeah, because it's hard. It is hard, though, isn't it? I mean, I think obviously a lot of people will see tour players play golf, and I mean, how many tournaments do you have a year? Thirty. Yeah, between twenty-five and thirty. Twenty-five and thirty events. So that's you're not really thinking about normal things are you you're thinking about a tournament week and how yep. to play and what to do and all yep. that sort of stuff but yeah so, so your first european tour win which was february this yep. year congratulations yeah Congrats. it was nice yeah. has that changed now for you because you, you get two year exemption there for that i got a the rest of the year plus one okay. so at least okay. i've got Perfect. to the end of next year so that gives you the ability to yeah it's it's like yeah. get married yeah <laughs> that, that, well to be fair we're getting married regardless but it was a nice early <laughs> wedding present there we go yeah. Okay, Ryan, so time for the Thunder Step. I know you've been looking forward to this. So you're the second person to do it. The first person was the world long driving <laughs> And But Joe was, I think, was disappointed. He, he was only actually, carried yeah. it 315. So we chance? know the potential. I've, got, I've actually got. got a chance. So you have got a chance. Yeah, if you just said 350, I'd have just walked off. But yeah. Did you make him at two iron or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're allowed one step and you can go as hard as you like. It doesn't have to be on the fairway. <laughs> Good, because it's, it's not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> pure distance on this one. Oh, I must miss oh, that. A little bit low heely. A little bit. 120. Yeah, okay. Good fairway finder though that was. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you said you hit it straight. That's, that's the one for Port Rush off the first tee. Yeah. 121 club speed. What was that, 210? 221, sorry, I've just normalised it. 221, 221. Okay. Oh. oh. It's right. It's got a bit of meat behind it. It's all right though, as long as we get 223 club speed, attack angle 3.3, .3. the carry is 315.3 to beat. Oh, is that normalised? Yep. That's, a, that's, well, that's the longest one. <laughs> Joe Miller, you're currently second. Yes. 327.8. Yes. <laughs> Look at his face. Top of the ball. Top that's of the ball. pretty good. That's pretty good. It's good job. Thing, I, still, I reckon I'd actually hit it further if I didn't step. Do you reckon you could, yeah? Yeah. I think this, this doesn't count at all, but I want to see hit one and see how far it does go. But the, I'd like to see that. So 345 total. He went 160 foot high. Yeah, it did go about 160 yards right. It only went 50 yards according to this, but that was normalised. I think if I unnormalise it, oh yeah, 80. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was 100. 80. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a normal shot then. Yeah. 327.8 to beat carry. Oh, you're absolutely oh, yeah. right. That's, that's, wow. Uh, I mean, that that's was, a good that's shot as well. Isn't it? Isn't it? Same attack angle. Same attack angle though, 3.3, 125.6 speed. That's carried a lot further, I think. Ooh, 320. 329.2, only a little bit. Two yards okay. further. And you're the the wind, I think the wind must have helped. Straighter though. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, really good, really good. 160.7 height again. Height is unbelievable. Definitely. Yeah, but that, yeah, it's, it's about carry, right? You've got to... Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah it's really good. I don't know what ours are going to be when we have a go this piece, but I don't think we're going to get close to that one. We may have a chance with Joe, but I don't think we're going to get close Yeah, we'll, we'll do that by ourselves, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, so... you got par three then. Oh, nice easy one 16. for us here, I know. Now, normally, mm. yeah, normally on par threes, Ryan, do a little bit of a challenge. Okay. So the idea with these par threes is, we look, we, we challenge you guys to something different. So we says, look, you're so good with the driver, you hit it so far. Well, we let's do a par three with the driver and see how good you are. Oh dear. <laughs> at controlling the distance as opposed to just bombing it. So I'm really hoping I don't hit it in this right bunker here. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what we want. Can't say I've ever done this. No, never done it. No, never no. before. Wow. No, we used to play. When I grew up, where I grew up in Auckland, we had five of us that were trying to turn pro. We're all around the same age, and when we used to play match play, but if you won a hole, you got to 
take clubs out of someone else's bag. Right. So that Battle was goal, that yeah. was the way we did it, which was a lot of fun. But generally, if you lost three holes in a row, you you, you lost a lot of clubs yeah. really quickly, <laughs> and it was a bit of a struggle. For Downward there. spiral, isn't it? I like yep. that. Though. Oh, there's that right bunker. Oh, I really get over that. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Get around it. Oh god. Oh, no. oh, oh, it nearly came out. If there's one place you don't want to be, it's a it's bunker. There. It's in that bunker. Didn't you like the control of the distance on that piece? It's really good, actually. To be fair, I'll tell you what. If you, can, if you can hit it in the pond when it's teed up that high, <laughs> I, I'd be impressed. Oh, he's oh, played right. it nice. You say you've never done this before? Yeah, I've never done it before. Sit. Sit. It's gonna be a little bigger link. It's not in the bunker though, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's always happy about it. In fact, he's not in the bunker shot. You can you see that. See it's, it's, it's like a little put now. The driver, that is. You can see that. To be fair, it's probably a better shot than I would have hit with a five iron. I would have had out anyway. <laughs> I suppose you've come from a sporting background as well, haven't you? Yeah. So my mum's father played cricket for New Zealand in the 30s, 40s and 50s. Um, my old man played for the All Blacks. Yeah. So I don't know how there was a golfer that came out of that. But 27th top point scorer. We checked that this morning, didn't we, Sean? <laughs> hey, well, when he when he retired, he was he was, he was the top. He was number score. one, wasn't he? That's right. Yep. Yeah, he was number one. Yeah. Yeah. So would you say com just competing for you is sort of in your blood because of the, what you're surrounded by? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dad and I used to have some some pretty pretty hectic battles. When I first beat him in golf off the stick, I think I was 15. He didn't talk to me for a couple of days. Really? Brilliant. So yeah, it was uh, it was fairly competitive in our yeah, household. Love he he loved barking orders around and. Okay. Um, I certainly, certainly got a few of them, <laughs> especially when he, especially when he caddied for me in the amateur days. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. He ran me with a buggy once. Did he really? Yeah. It was a New Zealand amateur, with the stroke play side of it, and we're playing Parapara Umu Beach, which is one of our best golf courses, mm -hmm. a Lynx golf course. And I was four under through fifteen, bogeyed sixteen and seventeen. He said something along the lines of me choking, um, <laughs> coming down eighteen. And I took exception to that, and I can't probably repeat what, what was said between the both of us. It was there's probably a few bleeps in there, but he sort of got a little bit angry and ran me with the uh, with the with the buggy. But I did manage to hold a 30 footer for birdie to, did you really? to at least look to, like to I neutralise the situation. Yeah, neutralise the situation, and uh, that's what we were always like a little bit. It was um, I think all fathers and sons butted heads, but you you throw in a little bit of tournament golf in there, it makes it a uh, <laughs> it makes it worse, I think. If you don't get up and down out that bunk with that driver, I'm going to ram you with the bunk. Oh, yes. Do you know what? <laughs> actually, look at Ryan's shot there. Ryan's really a great good shot there. He's like 30 feet 30 past feet. the hole. Are we just going to say I'm one up now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what, though? It's not too bad. If, if, if there's anywhere he wanted to be in this bunker, it was here. If I can just use the bounce a little bit. At best, it's going to end up over here, isn't it? If it goes well. Unless you somehow manage to... What are you talking about? At best? I can get it close. Oh, now it's hard. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just perfect, this <laughs> yeah. is. Whose idea was this, Pierce? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm chipping for a bogey with a driver. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll Not take bad. that one. No. Do me a favour, will you grab me my putter for me, please? So Andy's just giving his driver away, asking for his putter. I was trying to cheat there. I actually, I actually forgot. Right there. Very was good. that there for really two? Good, that is. Is that there for That's two? There That's there for two. two, yeah. <laughs> then mine's for a five. Oh, unlucky. Oh. You'd be on Sky Sports at La Hinch and you know, we're over to Ryan Fox and he's putting with his driver. <laughs> his driver yeah, well, it look, feels weird when it's so far out. It's, well, yeah, because I suppose it's the eye line thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, you, just... you know, I'm always a little inside the ball, yeah, but yeah. not <laughs> three feet inside the I'm ball. I'm just going to dust the sand off my driver. <laughs> Ryan, yeah. great, great three there. Yeah, well, very that good. was a good nice. three. I'll take that. We, what we need to do, Pierce, is make these challenges a little more favourable to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, one up then. Right, one, up, one, one to play. play. One. Great three there, that was. Well, I, I can't was, lose, that's a positive. I was impressed <laughs> yeah. with that. Is that what you woke up this morning going, I can't lose those? Yeah, two. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think I've had a little easier on it to play one of you. Yeah, there we go, exactly. It's a strong flight, isn't it, that? I mean, it's like you don't even need a driver, really. Actually, Andy, one thing we will say, we did measure the length of the shafts and that was about an inch and a half longer well, than yours. Oh, well, he's got a big advantage there then. So, exactly, I'm just, you know, you know, so you're only going to be 10 past him. Yeah. He grabs driver, he might. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. not bad either. Yeah, very tasty. 
I'm going to pace that how far he's hit it past don't, you. Don't do that, Pierce. No, no, I'm going to do it because I've got a theory on this here. So I'm just going to, just going to pace that real quick. Slightly bigger paces. <laughs> 10. So 25 yards it was, Andy. So actually with the inch and a half, that means that you've beaten him by five every yards. Every half an inch yep. is like... I'm trying to figure out the formula like exactly. Eight, eight yards for every yeah, half yeah, an yeah. inch. 29 minus 25 is 104. <laughs> there we go. It's right at the back. Perfect. Don't tell him that, Matt. <laughs> I might drive the buggy into him in a bit, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sit. Get out. Oh, oh yeah. lovely bounce. Oh, oh, lovely. That's not that bad, actually. It's going to work out all right, that is. One down, one to play. I don't think I'm going to do it today, but he's just bombed that 25 yards past me with his two eyes. But he's a big bloke, isn't he? So, I'm not sure I can quite pitch this all the way there. Up the hill but okay you're helping him out Pierce no 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 I'm trying to talk him into leaving okay. it short <laughs> 20 foot short's good I, I heard you say yeah. that was good <laughs> bouncing yeah it looks yeah, good yeah, right good. flag nice that, I never come behind the hole normally but I just no, feel I need to this is serious you need three you need three points behind it the low side and behind the ball okay do you get more information coming this side of the ball in this instance, but it's a downhill, so you're looking up the, up the putt? Yeah, I think you definitely get a better perspective looking at it. Looking back up. up, up looking back up the hill. Yeah. I think it's really hard to get it when you're looking down. Yeah. And that's why I always, I'll always go look on the low side it's of like the um, someone told me it's not like in a football stadium, you, you can't see everything when you're looking down onto the pitch, but when you're looking back up, you see everything, don't you? Yeah. Go. Oh. Ooh. You can have that one. Thank you. You're good at these match plays, aren't you? This is your second match play win of the year yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> the year. This is obviously the more important yeah, one. Of course. Here. <laughs> nice leg. Easy. Whoa, it's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, well played. You. Ryan, great to meet you. Thanks you very too. much. Enjoyed that. Really, really I enjoyed good. getting Ryan. a beat in well there done. as well. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Thank you. Well played. Can you turn up next I'll, uh, time? Yeah, yeah. I'll turn up Thank next time. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. Thanks, really, man. really Cheers, enjoyed Ryan. that. Thank, thank you very much. Thank really you good. Me. Congrats. Well done. And look, you know, big thanks to Fox Hills as well. They've been fantastic. Looking after us, the golf course has been superb. Yes. And who should we get next? I don't know. Who should we, actually, who who should we, we get, get next, next, Ryan? Well, Tyrrell wouldn't be a bad one. Tyrrell Hatton. Hatton. Tyrrell, Ooh. if you're watching this, then we want to take you on, obviously. Pierce is going to get himself fighting fit, mm. and then we're hopefully going to do the business. We haven't won one yet, have we? No. Not yet. Leave a comment down below, guys. Hit the like, and thanks for watching. <laughs>